The South County Transportation System has challenges that are experienced by both businesses and commuters. Historically, commuter and truck traffic create congestion. Economic slowdowns have a dramatic effect on travel behavior and the choices people take. The San Joaquin Council of Governments is leading efforts to address challenges to the transportation system in any economic climate. One of those efforts is SJ Cog's Congested Corridors Plan. This plan examines the South County Transportation Corridor and its needs for safety, congestion, and mobility improvements. The plan identifies short-term, mid-term, and long-term improvement projects, most of which will require funding. SJ Cog recognizes that technology directly impacts those strategies. Autonomous vehicles allow for smarter management of mobility on freeways for cars and trucks. Technology which enhances communications has afforded employees the option to work from home instead of commuting to work. As the number of commuters continue to grow, congestion increases. Workers living in northern San Joaquin Valley continue to rely on cars to commute to work. Over 86,000 workers commute daily from San Joaquin County into the Bay Area, a 27% increase from 2013. This is an astounding figure when compared to the 7,000 commuters traveling daily in the opposite direction from the Bay Area to northern San Joaquin Valley. Manteca is uh, an interesting location. You know, we are 83,000 strong. We are a very growing city. The other aspect is we are a commuter town. We bring a lot of traffic through this town early in the mornings and also late in the evenings. So because of that traffic, um, it puts a burden on our roads and streets. The commuting time for San Joaquin County working residents has also increased considerably. Stockton is the number one rank in California with the highest percentage of super commuters who drive at least 90 minutes to work each day. One of the things when we deal with traffic and roadway and infrastructure is air pollution. We're cognitive of the fact that we have to reduce our air pollution substantially in San Joaquin Valley. We know that by reducing congestion on the roadways, it helps with air quality. FSP is a congestion management tool that uh, clears non-recurring traffic incidents on the freeway. It's, it's very cool to uh, have this program out here to have me waking up this early in the morning and be able to accommodate uh, all these people to get to and from wherever they're going. Since the end of the Great Recession in 2009, the growth number of jobs in the San Francisco Bay Area has outpaced the number of homes by almost 5 to 1. This has resulted in major increases in Bay Area home prices and the exodus of workers and families from the Bay Area to northern San Joaquin Valley. The median home values in Bay Area counties can be two to four times the median home value in San Joaquin County, which makes the region a more affordable choice for many families. The cost of living in the Bay Area doesn't work in isolation. It's affected this community as Bay Area residents look for lower costs over here. Bay Area businesses look for lower costs here in San Joaquin County. That creates pressure on housing costs, on business costs locally, and that translates into dynamics for, for housing affordability and business competitiveness locally. Such growth brings growing pains, but at the same time provides numerous economic opportunities for warehousing and goods movement in the county. Over 15,000 trucks travel daily at the I-205-580 junction between San Joaquin and Alameda counties, accounting for 12% of the vehicular traffic. When we look at concentration of employment, which is a measure of, of how many jobs there are out of the total jobs in the economy, we see that Stockton is amongst the three most concentrated metropolitan areas in the country. That gives you an idea of just how big a role we're playing as a hub for goods movement in general. Transportation improvements need to be handled carefully so that the solutions do not compromise the county's economic sustainability. There's an acknowledgement from the electeds to the business community, to community groups, to residents and voters that there is a path forward for managing these conflicts and creating a better quality of life in South County and providing the economic opportunities that are going to enable South County and San Joaquin County to grow.
Transportation is a crucial piece in the logistics of moving goods from warehouses to the end user. Logistics is a growing industry in San Joaquin County. As a transportation consultant, what's happening in South County, the 205 Congested Corridor Plan, the work that Caltrans is doing, dovetails with many of the initiatives that uh, I've been working on with Prologis. We're in logistics. Uh, we are a major developer of industrial properties and uh, we employ within our properties all form of logistics employment and uh, all of our tenants are generally in the fulfillment and logistics area. The properties that we have are generally located at the convergence of the 580 and 205 and as a result we're, our freight and labor is mixed with commuters heading to up the Altamont Pass either in the morning or in the afternoon, particularly in the morning. And so it's starting to create some de degree of congestion that affects our operations. Within six years of locating in San Joaquin County, Amazon has become the county's largest employer. Its multiple distribution centers in the cities of Tracy, Manteca, and Stockton total 4.5 million square feet, generating over 4.5 billion in sales annually. Even with the dynamic nature of the economy and technology, the Congested Corridors plan has a laser focus to ensure management of traffic includes selected construction of roadways, safety and operational improvements, along with convenient public transit options. The short-term improvements will be done by 2025, one of which is the Stockton Diamond Grade separation where the BNSF and Union Pacific Railroads cross at grade. Those rail lines will be separated to improve freight traffic. This also benefits commuter rail traffic. The Altamont Corridor Express, known as ACE, has expansion plans both north and south of San Joaquin County. The short-term improvements also include the State Route 99-120 Highway Project in Manteca. The project is a partnership between Caltrans, SJ Cog, and the City of Manteca to improve congestion and safety. There is also the Caltrans District 10 Integrated Corridor Management Plan, which looks at operational needs. The Congested Corridors Plan identifies mid-term projects to be completed by 2030 if funding is secured. The I-205 Managed Lanes Project will add two additional lanes to the existing six-lane freeway. The State Route 120 project will also add two lanes to the existing four-lane freeway. Anything and everything that we can help with alleviating traffic on 120 is helpful not only to the residents because they can hopefully get home sooner, but also the commuters that are coming through here, going to other cities within San Joaquin County and also Stanislaus County. Public transportation expansion is a key component to the transportation strategy. With a robust economy, there is increasing demand for rail transit options which have benefits to alleviate roadway congestion, improve air quality, and allow people to conduct work during their transit commute. The Valley Link Project, currently in the planning phase, proposes a new rail service providing connectivity between the San Francisco Bay Area Rapid Transit District System and the Altamont Corridor Express commuter service in the Tri-Valley. While the Congested Corridors plan includes various public transit strategies, transit demand is adversely impacted during a downward economy as was experienced in the 2008 recession and the 2020 COVID-19. Reduced travel due to growing unemployment and employees working from home during this time resulted in buses and trains with decreased ridership by as much as 75%. SJ Cog recognizes expanding public transit in the future will require strategies to reassure commuters and rebuild confidence in public transit in the post-COVID-19 world. Finally, the Congested Corridors Plan provides a list of long-term improvements for 2035 subject to funding. They include improvements such as I-580 managed lanes, I-205 fixed guideway concept, I-5 Mossdale and Route 99 Ripon widening. It is recognized that the improvements needed exceed the amount of available funds Therefore, SJ Cog is collaborating with businesses and communities to prioritize needs along the corridor to make sound investment decisions. So the trick is building this consensus 
so that you can bring in all of those potential opportunities and strategies and build it incrementally because it's not going to be one magic silver bullet that's going to solve congestion. It's about managing all of that and allowing people choice. SJ Cog is committed to building a stronger transportation system that promotes the region's quality of life, emphasizing the safe and efficient movement of people and goods in and around the county. Whether in a vibrant economy or one in recovery, SJ Cog tailors transportation solutions reflecting the travel reality for San Joaquin residents and businesses.